So I'm going to lead you through just creating a quick query in SQL Stream Builder, show you how it works a little bit, show you the editor and launching jobs and getting results from a SQL query. Okay, so we're in the SQL Stream Builder editor here. We're going to go ahead and run a job. This is just a typical editor interface. Um, you can name the job whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to call it Production Fraud. And we're just going to create a fraud job here. We're going to uh, pull some data out of a fraud queue of uh, transactions and uh, pick out some of those things that might look potentially fraudulent. So I'm going to go to my history and pull back a query here. Let's just talk through it. So I'm selecting a card as a fraudulent, potentially fraudulent card and the count of auths that's happened over a one second window, a tumbling window. And then I'm also going to pull back uh, the amount and just do a little bit of math on it so we know the actual amount that's coming back from those, from those transactions. And I wanna select them in that window where there's more than two. So that's in my business use case, that's, the, that's what defines a fraudulent query or a fraudulent transaction. All right, let's get started. Uh, so I named the job. I'm gonna run this on the SQL Stream Builder cluster that we have provisioned. I'm gonna then sync the results to the payments fraud topic in Kafka. So everything that comes out of here is gonna then be piped into Kafka as a result set as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start that job. You can see down here in the window, it says Stream Builder is ready. So let's go ahead and execute that. That job's starting up. Scroll down a little bit. We can go over here to our jobs tab. So every uh, query that you run in Stream Builder is a job, a SQL job. And so you go over here and it takes a few seconds for this to fire up and we'll see our job here. Okay, so now we see our production fraud job here running and go back to the SQL window. And now we see some results coming in. We see we see an auth count of three for $942 for a particular time window. And that's the fraudulent card number. And that's it. So now we have a production job. That job runs forever in the background, uh, finding fraudulent transactions and pushing those transactions into the payments fraud sync, which is Apache Kafka. All right, thanks for watching.